So here we go. After all the talk from Teofimo Sr., the trainer, that we are going to take a world title in our 15th fight, which this is. And then we will take down the great Vasily Lomachenko and fight 16, which would be the prize for the winner here tonight as Lomachenko is sitting ringside. Can you back it up? Ready? Against the Ready? IBF lightweight champion, Richard Comey, Teofimo Lopez, as we are underway from New York. Away, Tiafimo Lopez trying to establish his jab right now, trying to get respect from Comey, trying to get the distance down. There's the right hand of Richard Comey. That is what Richard Comey is at his best a viper like right hand. Tim, I'll offer you this an opportunity to tell us a little more about Richard Comey. The must do, can't do on the channel. Well, they told us in a fighter meeting, you know, must do pressure is the thing that sticks out to me here. He must. Pressure Lopez, take him in the deep waters and drown him. And the things, the three things that he told us that he had, he couldn't do. The thing that sticks out to me is, do not lock up in the, in front. Don't put the earmuffs on. Don't shell up. You become an instant punching bag when you do so. And when you do, you're going to be absorbing a lot of power. Lopez, 11 knockouts among his 14 wins. Dre, Lopez's last fight out was unremarkable, and we know why. He was greatly distract, distracted by the fractures in his family and his personal life. That was July 19th when it was a decision win against the previously undefeated Masayoshi Nakatani. What good can come out of that experience as a learning moment? I love that fight for him. It wasn't, you know, the Teofimo Lopez that we're all used to seeing, and that's good. It brought him back down to earth. It let him know that he's not invincible, and it's probably going to get him ready for this fight tonight, at least psychologically, if nothing else, because, again, he's back down to earth in terms of, you know, not having too much confidence, and he trained different. He looked different in the fighter meeting, so I think that prepared him for tonight, Joe Tess. So a shoulder roll and a counter right from Lopez moments ago. Good patient round from both fighters. Good left hook right there from Lopez. But Comey, I think, has got the slight edge with the jab and the right hand he's landed. Got the right hand earlier. Now closing in that range that time. Comey right now get hit with some solid shots. The left hook of Lopez just landed, buzzed him a little bit. Lopez has a little more variety to his weaponry right. than Comey has. He can be effective with that left hook. There should be high-level offensive stuff throughout. A very good start that's here that's 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 to our lightweight on, world stop, stop. title come fight. On. We're going to take a quick break and come right back to Madison Square Garden. Stay with us. Time, time. You see Joey Gamache, a recent addition to the corner of Tiafimo Lopez, Mark. Gamash is here because Tiafimo asked for more structure. And as you can see, it's a delicate balance he has to strike. He has to defer, pick his spots. But Joey is a former two-way champion. He lost here by infamous lockout. And the last time we saw him was last summer when his fighter, Otto Valin, almost shocked the world against Tyson Fury. One of the wild nights in the sport when Otto Valin was able to cut the lineal undefeated heavyweight champion and stand there toe-to-toe, -to -toe, only to see the talent gap widen as the fight went on, and Fury won that fight back in September, of course, right, break, break. now on, setting on, up what is widely reported on, as the mega showdown that'll happen after the new year with the two undefeated heavyweight champions, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, meeting up in a rematch with both fighters in different places. There is that short left by Lopez that sends Comey back here at the start of round two. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And Comey is on spaghetti legs here in round two. The champion is hurt badly. Can Lopez do it? He has two minutes to work. Big right hand. He's got him hurt. Lopez Brooklyn born coming here to Manhattan looking to make magic Comey is hurt badly Lopez moments away from having it happen and there it is he has done it Teofimo Lopez delivering on everything he said he would 
The signature celebration. He was looking for the backflip, but that ring may be too crowded to celebrate. A year ago on Heisman night, he was all over the place, making highlight after highlight. And tonight, he comes back a year later, and he strikes his own pose. A knockout victory. Incredible power. And all the Joe Burrow jerseys going on. Heisman night and a new world champion. At only 22 years old, the incredible power of Tiafimo Lopez. He does it again. And did he ever close the show? Landing 33 of the final 42 punches he threw. His wife Cynthia now up on the apron. It's Joey Gamash, who was a great addition to that camp. Just calmly retrieves the mouthpiece. And now father and son, who said they would. They said, fight number 15 of our pro career. We will have a belt. And now the showdown with Vasily Lomachenko will happen. In spectacular fashion, Lopez wins a world title. And the Hall of Fame promoter, Bob Arum, who has seen him all through the years, now with his newest titleist. Let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 13 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, David Field, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. And the new IBF lightweight champion of the world, Dale Fimo Lopez.